you know, one of the things that I like to share with people is that uh, in that same fish tank, if we change the water to something like reverse osmosis water or distilled water, and, and you put your fish in that kind of water, the first thing that happens is the fish turn belly up. Uh, they, they get sick quickly, they, they, they then die because they can't live in that kind of water and it's becoming more evident from research um, that's being done around the world that the human body is very similar. Those kinds of waters don't work very well in our fish tank either. Something else that um, has been taking place research-wise for a long time uh, started with a uh, pioneer many years ago over in Germany by the name of Otto Warburg who received a Nobel Prize uh, for his research on fermentation and um, he basically, um, to put it in simple terms, taught that things like cancer cannot survive in an alkaline environment. Um, so if we can keep the waters in the fish tank in our body that represent our body um, slightly alkaline, um, we don't have to worry about some of these uh, diseases to the same level because he, he says we can't get cancer if those internal fluids are alkaline. Now there's lots of um, researchers out there that are um, supporting this information and, and supporting this idea. We know that cancer um, is a, a um, process where oxygen is deprived, um, just like fermentation. And uh, so by um, hydrating the body, as uh, Dr. Batman Gallage says, by alkalizing the body, as Dr. Warburg says, uh, and also uh, Dr. Susan Lark, uh, who used to teach at uh, Stanford Medical School, uh, says that we, uh, the top, top achievers in our country, and in, in fact throughout the world, are those people who um, are naturally alkalizers. And she says there's around three to four percent of these people worldwide who are the high achievers, the, the top athletes, the the top business people, the top people um, in different industries, and they are naturally alkalizers. And these people have more energy, they have better mental clarity, they uh, don't tend to get sick, they recover from injuries and, and activities much faster than everyone else. And it's because of this, this amazing ability for them to achieve the, to, to keep the water in their fish tank a little more alkaline. The rest of us have to work harder at it. The good news is that there are things we can do. We can change our diets. Uh, we can eat more alkaline producing foods. We can change our stress levels. Um, again, that helps reduce the amount of acidity that builds up and accumulates. Um, and we can drink alkaline ionized water. And all of these things together really help all of us to become uh, as, as capable of being a high achiever as any of these natural alkalizers. And I, don't, I think that's one of the most exciting things about the technology that we're talking about is that we can, all of us, achieve that state of health and that state of wellness. In the early 90s, I had the chance to go to Japan and see the technology um, that we're talking about used in, in clinical applications in hospital settings. And I saw some things that made me stand back and really evaluate some of the things I'd been taught about medicine and health. And I saw water doing things there that uh, blew my mind. And as a result of that trip and seeing some of those miracles uh, with people who had things like eczema and psoriasis and diabetes and neuropathy, um, I. I came back with a strong desire to get one of these machines and have the water available to use in, in my clinic and to share with my patients and friends and family and myself. And um, so I came back and I bought a water ionizer and I have to be honest, I was very disappointed in the results. Um, I gave a lot of water away and people just didn't notice any difference and then I really couldn't say that I did either. Um, treating some of the people with the, those terrible skin conditions, um, even acne, it didn't seem like the water was making any difference. So I knew that, uh, that at that point that ionizers were not all created equally. So that began a search for me and a journey of looking for and finding the best ionizer out there that would accomplish 
what I wanted it to accomplish to help the most people with the most uh, health challenges. So as a result of that journey, I have uh, gone from one machine to another. I've actually, um, over the last several years, purchased over, uh, well, I've purchased seven uh, water ionizers from different manufacturers. And I will say some work a little bit better than others, but none really truly did for my patients and myself what I expected. So I was a little bit disheartened actually and, and I thought well they just must have something really special in these machines that are made for the hospitals and, and the clinics and, and on a big scale and it, we just can't get those in a, uh, a consumer size version here in the United States. But in July of 2006 I was invited to a um, meeting that was uh, a celebration actually that was being done by a company called Enagic and uh, went to Los Angeles, California, met the president of the company there, Mr. Oshiro, and although I wasn't able to um, understand everything that was being said in Japanese because the meeting wasn't Japanese, I tried the water and I knew there was something special about that water. I could taste it, I could see the difference, I could feel the difference in my body. And after drinking the water, I slept more sound than I had in, in a long time. Um, I have to be honest with you, I, I've never had a lot of health conditions and, uh, uh, or challenges, but I slept better and I woke up with less sleep, feeling fully rested and, and, and energized, and I had uh, even more energy than normal. And uh, that got me excited, so I bought a machine that following day and uh, got one in my clinic and started giving water away. And uh, I have to tell you, it's just been an absolute miracle what I've seen since. Patients are coming in and getting water. They're bringing their friends in. They're bringing in their family. And, and they're taking water home and drinking it. And they're coming back and saying, i got to have some more magic water. And when you ask them what they're noticing, everything from I, I see I'm using less insulin if they're diabetic. I'm having less pain. Um, I, I have better sleep, I'm not as depressed, I'm not as anxious. Uh, the things they're telling me is absolutely phenomenal. And I've come to realize just how important this foundational part of our body really is. You know, we're, we are 75% water and we overlook it, we take it for granted. And as I, as I see the changes occurring in patients, what I'm, uh, I'm coming to realize more and more every day is that the water is the key. All the other things are secondary. The water is in nature the greatest solvent. The water is the solution in which all chemical reactions take place in the body. The water is the foundation and as people drink it, amazing things take place inside their body. Perhaps the most important one is what we call the hexagonal properties. And this is also called microclustering. And what this simply means is that the water is in smaller uh, groupings or, or clusters than most water found on the planet. Now nature produces this high in the mountains. If you go up into the, the high mountainous areas you'll find uh, heavy amounts of snowpack and glacier. Uh, melt where the water melts and, and it flows down through the streams and into the rivers and then down into the valleys and as it does that it actually changes. It starts out high in the mountains as hexagonal water or a six-sided molecule. These six-sided molecules actually stick together in, in clumps of about three to five molecules as it flows down into the valleys and as the sun beats down on it, this water literally warms up and it changes form into a pentagon uh, or a five-sided structure. And these tend to group together in groupings of 15 to 100 molecules. That increases the surface tension. That's also why when you wash your clothes with this water, you have to use more and more detergent to get it to wash the clothes, to penetrate the clothing. 
Now, scientists have found that the most important water for all living organisms, that's animals, plants, and people, is that of the six-sided structure. And as I said, many people call this micro-clustered water. And I think that is a great term because it helps us understand that it's in smaller clusters or, or groups. The significance of that, when it gets inside the body, is that, they, that the body can then use this water more easily. It carries more fuel, it carries more oxygen, and it carries away more waste. It penetrates the cell wall much more readily and much more efficiently. This increases the ability of the cell to perform the way they are designed to perform. So your heart cells work better, your brain cells work better, your lung cells work better, your muscles work better and more efficiently. Most of the bottled waters um, come from three sources. Um, many of these come from the municipal source actually and then are run through a um, reverse osmosis system. That's what the uh, larger bottlers are doing. Reverse osmosis, as you probably know, is where you take water under pressure and put it up against a membrane with little tiny uh, pinholes that only allow the water through and, and it holds back the minerals and uh, theoretically at least the chemicals and other components that may be in the water, purifying the water. Um, that, the end result is very similar to what you would get with distilled water. Distilled water is basically achieved by taking water, heating it up, and in, um, letting that water rise in a vapor form, and then collecting it back and cooling it down. And, and the, the cooled down water, theoretically at least, is, is uh, without the unsavory components that may be in the water. Um, again, we've left the minerals behind, we've left uh, hopefully all of the chemicals and other components. So the end result is very clean water that the Japanese call dead water. In fact, if you put that water from either a distiller or from a reverse osmosis machine into your fish tank, the fish would die very quickly. So the Japanese have, have concluded, and many other uh, researchers are supporting this, that these waters are dead and that they basically demineralize the body. They, they really suck the energy out of the body. And that's why people, when they start drinking the uh, Kangen water, find themselves uh, with a lot more energy. When we drink waters that are depleted of minerals, they, um, they tend to be acidic, number one, and, and we uh, know from chemistry that acids uh, inside the body have to be neutralized in order to be moved. So in order to do that, the body basically goes into the buffering system and it uses things like oxygen or minerals that are stored in the bones, the teeth, the joints, connective tissue, and in the muscles and the organs and it starts pulling those out in order to neutralize these acids. Now they can be acids from the drinks you're taking in, they can be acids from uh, metabolism, they can be acids created by stress, stressful events, physical, mental, emotional, but all of these things create uh, an additional component of acid waste that has to be neutralized. So we start seeing problems occur where, where the minerals are lost from the tissues and the bones, uh, and we have names for those things. For example, you, you talk about receding gums, um, where the, the gum starts to pull away from the teeth. That's a, lock, a loss of minerals. Uh, we start seeing problems like calcification of joints. We start seeing problems uh, like osteoporosis, for example, uh, where the bones literally start to break down. They start to lose that mineral density that that was there that the body needs to function optimally. And one of the neat things about watching patients uh, over time drinking Kangen water is that their bone density tests start improving and they start seeing their receding gums uh, improving and meaning they're getting better. We start seeing um, 
arthritic symptoms reduced, we start seeing those um, degenerative disc problems improve because the body and all of the bones and, and, and connective tissue are all living and they're ch constantly changing and by giving them water that is smaller in size and more alkaline it allows that water to carry the necessary building blocks back to these damaged areas of the body and they start to repair again they start to uh, put themselves back in in order so to speak back in balance You know, sometimes people talk to me about uh, all of the amazing health benefits they've, they've experienced, but I really want to share with you a couple of things I've observed with our animal friends. Because I don't believe animals experience placebos, and there's always those doubting Thomases out there that are saying, well, it might be a placebo, and I suppose anything can be a placebo to some degree, uh, to some degree but I will say this. I have taken Congan water out in the pasture and given it to horses, put it in a bucket next to the trough where they're used to drinking out of and they'll always drink the Congan water first. So then I tried it with dogs, cows, sheep, cats, even birds. And every single one of them, if they get a chance to choose between Congan water and the regular source water they've been drinking, they will always drink the Congan water first. Sometimes they'll even go out of their way dramatically to get the Congan water. I was explaining this to some people one night at a meeting and uh, they took some water home and the lady called me the next morning and told me about a cat that she has who had never in her, its entire life been up on her kitchen counter. And she took the water and was cleaning some vegetables, getting them ready to fix for her salad for her lunch and she walked out of the room, came back and her cat had jumped up on the counter and was um, drinking the water out of the vegetable bowl um, because it was it was Congan water and now the cat refuses to drink anything but Congan water um, again it's not a placebo but the, the, the animals love it and we're seeing some amazing health benefits for a lot of our animal friends too um, some of the horse people are seeing amazing um, athletic performance and, and uh, improved times uh, just the same as we're seeing with our, our human athletes. Um, so there's just a lot of things, a lot of benefits, and, and a lot of ways that people and their animal friends can use Congan water. We know that there's a problem with bottles in the landfills and um, it's gotten so bad that Governor Schwarzenegger and other leading officials are asking people to quit using bottled water in government buildings and, and it's not just in California it was recently in Utah and uh, it's becoming more and more of a problem for Americans and, and people around the world one of the beautiful things by having an ionizer sitting in your kitchen or in your utility room is that you can have the best water available and you can you can drink that every day you can take it in a bottle wherever you go and you're not contributing to this landfill problem. Um, I think that's something that we all have to take responsibility for and, and should shoulder some of that responsibility. You know, it often amazes me that we go out and buy new cars and we change the oil exactly as the manufacturer recommends. We are very careful to maintain our cars in every way. Um, and yet many people trade their cars off every two or three years sometimes people keep them a little longer than that but we always end up with the same body that we started with and although that body which I like to think of as a billion dollar machine that God gave to us is a, it is an amazing machine and it does maintain itself fairly well even with all the abuse we give it. It still amazes me how sometimes we do abuse it. How we sometimes um, think that we can dump any kind of fuel in it and it'll still run. We can uh, abuse it with not enough sleep. We can abuse it with some of the physical things that we do to ourselves and we just keep on doing it and doing it and doing it and then we wonder sometimes why we wake up one morning and we're sick. And I know most of you take a lot better care of your car 
than you ever have your, your body. Some of you, on the other hand, are taking better care of your body, and I, and I commend you for that. But I think it is a big problem, and I think it's something that we really need to think about. Putting this wonderful water in your body absolutely is one of the best preventive maintenance things that I personally know of, and I recommend it to everybody that I talk to. You see, as we change our water, we literally do change the foundation of who we are, of our, of our health, of our wellness. And you know, people often ask me, well, Doc, I've been out on the internet and I've found this article that says these things don't work. I found an article that says I can buy a, a machine for half the money or a third the money. And that's true. And I realized that there are people that can say anything they want to on the internet. I don't have a problem with that. But I, I do want you to understand something. It's been my experience after having purchased and tested many different manufacturers, machines, that the results will vary dramatically according to the, to the machine. Sometimes I think of it this way, you know, if you wanted something for transportation, you could buy a horse, you could buy a bicycle, you could buy a moped, you could buy a car, maybe a, a small car, uh, and you could buy a Mercedes or a Lexus, or you could buy a, a Rolls Royce. Each one of those are forms of transportation, but you will find that um, riding a horse or a bicycle or a moped, for example, in a rainstorm isn't very nice. And it's very slow and it takes you uh, a lot longer to get where you want to go. If your goal is to improve your health, it seems to me that most of us would choose to do the very best we can to make the most difference every, every day that we're um, existing. We want to have better energy, we want to have better health, um, and we want to perform at our optimum capabilities. That to me is the magic of being healthy and, 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 and well. So when you go out on the internet and you find people that are making claims and, and de uh, what's the good word, debunking or bashing um, the technology, and there's people that say it don't work. Let me just tell you this. My experience has been that it is amazing technology and it really does work. And I can back that up with Japanese doctors who have been using this technology for 35 years. There are many associations of doctors who understand this. Just because we don't and we fear change and uh, we are resistant to change in many cases doesn't mean that it doesn't work. There was a guy by the name of Columbus years ago um, when everybody in the world thought the world was flat and he took off in some friends of his in a boat and he sailed and uh, he didn't drop off the edge of the world. Now today we laugh at that and we say how could they possibly have thought that the world was flat? And yet at that time everybody was the, of the opinion that the world was flat. We're kind of at that place in our history right now. If we really dig down and look around, we see that most people are sick. Most people's health is not where it ought to be. And yet somehow we keep doing the same things day after day after day, thinking that we're going to get healthier. It doesn't work that way. In fact, somebody told me that was the definition of insanity. So I would urge you to take the time to investigate this, to, to literally drink the water. Just drink the water and see if what we're telling you will make a difference for you. And I believe that you, like all of the patients that I've worked with and all my friends and all my family members who are trying this water, will also feel the difference. And if you want to try other waters from other machines, do it. Give them an opportunity to show you how they work because I think you'll find that they're not all created equally and that the results will be dramatically different from the waters from some machines versus those of other machines.
you know, often when we talk about the fish in the fish tank, I uh, have children in the room and I always like to ask them when the fish gets sick, what, what we should do. And it's, there's never hesitation with children. They always say, well, Doc, you, you have to change the water. And it seems so simple, and yet when we go back to uh, comparing it to the human body and the fish representing the cells in your body, when the cells get sick and we go to the doctor, I've never heard the doctor say, you need to change your water. They usually tell you that, that you need to add some sort of a medicine. And it may, there's lots of different medicines out there, and, and there's um, certainly lots of them that, that do a lot of good for people in different ways, but it does seem to uh, create a little bit of confusion in people when we start saying that we need to take medicine and we don't go back to the basics, we don't go back to the foundation, which is the water of life. Again, let me reiterate, you know, your body is 75% water, ideally. According to the experts, we come into this life as babies hydrated at about 90%. Think of your skin. Think of that baby's skin when it's born, that first few months. It's smooth, it's soft. As we age, we start to dehydrate, and the more dehydrated we get, the more our skin ages, the more it wrinkles, the more spots we get on it, the rougher it becomes. This is simply a sign, one of many signs of dehydration. Now, people that stay hydrated, they don't have those same problems with their skin. And that's something to, you know, to think about. It's just common sense. So, rather than grab one more pill or one more medicine or one more herb or one more anything, you know, maybe stop and think about, what could I do if I just drank a little bit more water? And particularly the right water. Because it does make a big difference.